Hi everyone, I wanted to share some tips and tricks that I have recently learned in the app Cricut Design Space. Um, I find it to be tremendously easier to create an SVG image through the app than it is through the computer. However, you can certainly do this through the computer as well. So before you get started, you wanna already have an image saved to your device um, that you want to use. So I have already done so. I actually am gonna use an image that I found from this group and I'm gonna get started by opening the Cricut Design Space app. When I do that, I'm gonna see this screen and I'm gonna select new project. From here, I'm gonna hit upload and I'm gonna hit select from photo library. That's gonna bring up my images that I'd like to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the image I'd like to work with. And right away, you're gonna see two things. You're gonna see the image that you're gonna edit in and then you're also going to see a box in your upper right hand corner. Right now that box is black because the image is not something that can just be used right away. So we gotta work with it a little bit. To get started, we're gonna review, remove any negative space and this is gonna clean up the majority of the image for you. So you're gonna hit remove in your bottom left hand corner and then with your finger, you're just going to hit negative space on your screen. So I'm just gonna hit anywhere outside of the circle. And notice I have now a checkered board pattern behind most of my image. And I wanna point out two things. One, it did remove the majority of what I'm working in, which is the goal. But if you notice in the upper right box that was previously all black, there are different parts of the image, I'll make it bigger by clicking on it, that aren't exactly what I want it to look like yet. The loops in the H, the loops in the S, the O's, the A's, all of that space needs to be negative space as well. So I'm gonna just click once to make that smaller again. And with my fingers, I'm gonna um, expand the screen, if you will. So I'm gonna slowly pull them apart where I would like to work. So right in the center here, you see the O in on, and the O needs to be negative space as well. So I already have remove selected, and I'm gonna hold my finger down, and where the red lines intersect, you just want that to be in the center of where you're working. It's okay if it's over here, it's okay if it's over here. You just don't want it to be on the black space. If you do, you can always remove it, but that's what you wanna avoid. So I'm gonna hit that by releasing my finger, and when I do that, notice in the upper right-hand corner in that box, the O and on is now white, like the rest of my image. So that's the goal. So I want this checkered pattern to replace any of my full white spaces. So I'm gonna do that again and rip, just repeat, repeat, repeat. And as I do that, you're gonna see again in that upper right-hand image, all of the black space is going to go away. Now notice right now, the D, I can't really see, so I'm just barely wiggling it over to get it. If you can't get to something, you simply take your fingers and move them together on the image, and then you're able to see more of what you're working with. I like to zoom in so that I don't accidentally do this. Now notice, my B is gone, and you're like, oh no, what happened? So basically what happened is instead of hitting the negative space, because the computer system doesn't know any different, it's just um, selecting any fluid color, it took away the black. And I don't want the black to be removed. So I'm gonna hit undo in the bottom right hand corner and now it's back, so not all is lost. So this time I'm just gonna be more careful and put my cross section in the white. And notice now I have a checkered board there. I'm gonna do it again in the top section of the B. And again, I can always reference my image in the upper right hand corner and say, okay, what else do I have to do? All right, I have board done, on done. Now I need to work in the word human. So I can click on that. I can, again, pinch my fingers closer. And now this way, I'm just gonna work around my image. If you hold your finger down, you'll see this cross pattern. Again, you want that to be in the middle of your space that you're working in, um, or the color specifically that you're working on. So I want it to hover over white versus black in my image. Same as this loop. And I'm just gonna move my image over with my fingers. I'm gonna do it in the A. And notice right now, I just accidentally tried to move it with one finger out of, you know, habit of using an iPhone and that doesn't work for me. So you gotta use two fingers to move it. And then click with one, I get my cross 
hatch again. I don't know what that's really called. We'll call it a cross hatch. Hover that over my space I want to become negative, and then I am good. Now, this is this image is good to go, and I could move forward. But say you had an image that, say it had something in it that you didn't like. For example, there's a lot of images that have curse words, and people like to have curse words in their materials, but they don't necessarily want it to have all the letters. So say the word bored was something I didn't want to have. And I said, you know what, I like the phrase, but that word to me is inappropriate. I want to replace it with something else. At this stage, I can go ahead and remove one of the letters so that I can feel comfortable using the design. Obviously, bored is not something I would feel uncomfortable with, but to each their own. We can pretend it's a funner word. So I'm going to hit erase on the bottom left hand corner. It's right beside the remove icon. Anytime you pick an icon, it's going to highlight in green for you. And I then have the ability to change the side of size of my eraser. So if you notice here, it's expanding and um, getting smaller on the screen. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so that I don't accidentally remove anything. Again, I can always undo, but I'm just going to go here and I'm going to remove the O. That way, again, if it's something that I don't want in the image, if it's something such as, you know, I don't want F-U-C-K, I want to remove the U to put an asterisk there, I can just go ahead and remove that now and I save myself time later. Since I'm not doing that in this image, I'm gonna hit undo and I can always bring that back. You're able to hit undo, I think three or four times before it says, hey, do you just wanna start over? So it does give you that option. I'm gonna hit next in the upper right hand corner. And now it's gonna say, okay, do we need to smooth anything out? Are there any kind of speckles we need to take care of? And this just helps refine the cutting process. So you can make changes here. You can hit smooth and it just refines it for you. Some of the images, if it's a clear image, you don't really see a difference, which is a good thing. But if I had a rather fuzzy image that I had to zoom in on, then that's where I would really see a difference here. I'm gonna hit next. And now I need to decide, is this an image that I'm going to just cut, such on vinyl, um, or am I gonna print it and then cut it? So most of my crafts for me personally, I am just cutting them. I can always take a cut image and use it in print later. Um, so I like to just make all of mine as the cut option. And then I'm gonna just name the image. So I like to name it as simple as it comes. So tiny humans on board. That way later I can know what I'm looking for. I can either hit done in the bottom corner or I can hit save up at the top. It takes a few moments and then it's gonna bring me to all of my uploaded images. So I have uploaded a couple of things based off of what different clients have wanted. So a dental office, they needed a tooth, a dispensary, they needed a pot leaf, um, and someone who was doing Penn State logos for recent graduates. So there's totally, um, you know, there's no limit of what you can upload. I do need to make a disclaimer. Liability is, is a true thing. Um, you wanna make sure that you are not selling um, anything that you do not have a license to. That is important. I do not. I make my own images for anything um, that I will be selling. So I just want it to each their own, but just be careful. 